1956, Thailand and Germany signed the agreement on economic and technical cooperation. It gave birth to more than 200 development projects in various sectors, as well as a long-standing friendship through the process of learning and working together. The ultimate goal is Thailand's sustainable development. Six decades has passed, and today, Thailand has become one of the leaders in the region in various fields. Thailand is now a provider of the technical cooperation in Southeast Asia and one of the main actors in the regional integration processes. Therefore, in 2008, Thailand and Germany have developed their relation from donor-recipient status to a partnership scheme by jointly supporting development efforts in the third country in Southeast Asia through the Thai-German Trilateral Cooperation Program. The cooperation aims to foster development goals in the target countries, focusing on Cambodia, Lao PDR, and Vietnam, through the sharing of relevant expertise from Thailand and Germany. The priority areas are education, rural development and SME, agriculture, and health. The program also supports Thailand's role as a provider of development cooperation. During the program's first phase, Thailand and Germany plan to implement up to eight small-scale trilateral projects with the budget of around 120,000 euros per project. The funding support is from the Thailand International Development Cooperation Agency, in short, TAICA, under the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and the German Federal Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development, or BMZ. Up to now, five projects have been implemented. There are three projects in Lao PDR and two projects in Vietnam. The project in Cambodia is in the inception phase. Among these, one of the good examples of an efficient small-scale trilateral cooperation project is the Strengthening National Good Agricultural Practices in Lao PDR project. ASEAN is committed to enhance its international competitiveness of food and agricultural produce in the global market. Various efforts have been made to enhance food control systems and assure food safety and quality. Good Agricultural Practices or GAP standard is one of the instruments adopted to standardize improved agricultural practices. Lao farmers are facing challenges from current developments towards the integration into the ASEAN common market in 2015. There is no national GAP system harmonized with the ASEAN GAP standard. The Lao farmers and smallholders have no access to affordable GAP certification to increase their competitiveness. Local consumers are also not yet familiar with or aware of such food standard concepts. The project supports the Lao Department of Agriculture to develop functioning national GAP system in line with ASEAN GAP. With an accessible and reliable system, Lao farmers can produce fruits and vegetables to meet the standard according to the domestic and regional demand. Lao fruits and vegetables will also be competitive in the regional market. To achieve the goal, the project has four specific objectives. First, the organizational structure of the Lao certification body is set up and functioning to support the Lao GAP system with a development plan in place. Second, the Lao GAP standard and the standard operating procedures for fresh fruit and vegetable is established in line with ASEAN GAP. Third, Competent human resources and the authority to manage the Lao GAP inspection and certification processes as well as support pilot GAP extension services are in place. And last, farmers and operators in pilot areas have applied and obtained Lao GAP certificate while domestic buyers have accepted the produce. The project target groups are the newly set up Lao certification body and the related government officials in the sector as well as farmers and operators. The project will finally benefit around 200 farmers and operators in the pilot areas.
The standard division under the Lao Department of Agriculture takes the driver's seat in the project implementation and management. The ownership rests with the Lao partner. They are supported in technical issues by the Thai Department of Agriculture as Thailand has a long experience in establishing a national GAP system and a lot of lessons learned. Taika and GIZ Bangkok provide support in the project's trilateral framework, the results-based management approach, as well as capacity building needed for the project team to run the project successfully. The Lao Department of International Cooperation, the Royal Thai Embassy in Vientiane, and GIZ Office Vientiane support the project in administrative and official communications issues. All the agencies cooperate closely. We have one project manager and one project assistant from the standard division working full time. The project working group has also been set up and are active to support the project implementation. The progress will be reported to the project steering committee regularly. This helps the project to tackle challenges and obstacles that may arise. This is how Lao PDR, Thailand and Germany work together in a trilateral project. The Thai experiences in establishing national GAP following ASEAN GAP standard can be a closer example from a partner with geographical proximity and close cultural ties. Germany also brought in their experiences in establishing private Thai GAP benchmarked with European standards. Once the Lao GAP standard is in place, the domestic productivity and product marketability will be increased and ultimately boost trade and improve the farmer livelihood. This will contribute to the effort to lower the development gap within ASEAN and enhance ASEAN's international competitiveness of food and agricultural produce.